How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Friggin' Bilsif. Day four of the temporary retirement, boys. Friggin' right it is. Hopefully you subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you like doing this kind of stuff, which I'm not really sure what the hell I'm really doing, but hey, it is what it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm going to put some high test in the golf cart. I got myself some right here. I'm going to top this thing up to five liters. I'm going to dump some synthetic two-stroke oil in it because the old Deese in here, she don't run with an oil pump. She don't. Have the oil pump delete button I did. Click that on there. So I do the premix myself, that way I'm guaranteed it's gonna go through the field, through the engine and keep it lubed. So that way you don't have to worry about a pump quitting on me and then blow my engine up. For great. I rebuilt her a couple years ago. Was it a couple years ago? No, the winter before last winter. Yeah, that's what it was. So anyways, first thing you wanna do is top up your cherry can here with some good old high test. The old ethanol there just, it's hard on your small engines it is. I was told that by a few people now and now I realize that they were 100% right, they were. So always put high test in your lawnmowers and good stuff, boys, if you wanna keep it. Holy, that probably should have just pre-mixed in here. Jim. So we're gonna take her right to the top, boys, because I got a little bit more oil than I'm supposed to have in that thing. So she's gonna run rich. There we go, all right. So we got that topped up. Now just so you know, this is just a generic measuring doodad because this is a one-shot deal for five uh, liters of fuel. So I just keep refilling this. I got some synthetic and a big bulk I do. So we'll dump that in there like that. We'll let her flow in nice and slow and gentle, easy. Decent, perfect. We'll put the friggin' lid on her and we'll give her a little shaky rooski. Just shake her up, boys, nothing too major. Jeez. Terrible. Come with me, you see. Oh, there's a train coming, boys. Hurry up, eh? So we'll get this in here like this. Top her up, Captain. Freaking cat wants in really bad, it does. You know this golf cart only went through three quarters of a tank of fuel all year last year. That's freaking crazy, boys. Cost you more in hydro to charge the batteries on electric when it would. There we go. Freaking right we did. So now, I'm gonna hop on the cart, go get a train video real quick, and then I'll be back. Freaking right I will. Well, we're back, boys, and I caught a good one that time I did, so make sure you get over there and subscribe to that other channel, eh? I think this thing's already running better from the fuel change I do, or the top up of the high test. She seems to be running a little smoother, so. We're gonna go out digging around on this today. Maybe catch a couple more trains. Frick, I get out here and I get thinking and there's a whole bunch of stuff I gotta do. I gotta get a power washer, wash the old Silverado, Mel's in the window, clean the window, eh? We're disinfecting the whole house today we are. Friggin' right we are. Well boys, I just went through some parts I did to see if I had enough in the archives to fix the old trailer plumbing, and I do. Somebody reminded me on my last video there about the trailer. So we gotta get it friggin' done. Look at my archives, boys. Look at it. Look at all the tubes I got. Decent. So I definitely have enough extra parts to fix the trailer. The only freaking problem with that is I can't get in here and I gotta pull the trailer out of here so I can get at it because I'm not gonna lay on some wet, dirty old freaking grass down here, boys, to do a freaking plum job. There's no way in hell I'm gonna lay down in there to fix that. And there's one up there too that I need to fix right in there. So we'll get, uh, we'll get the trailer pulled out of here maybe this week. The ground's pretty freaking soft right now and we can't go camping anyways because they closed everything until the end of April, which is fine, I guess. Maybe a little longer than that, eh? Other than that, we should get this thing out someday and clean her up, disinfect her, give her a vacuum job, and fucking mob your uncle. Paint the front friggin' nose cone. They're all paints falling off it because you know they don't make nothing like they used to. And I gotta clean out the old gazebo because it's dared. Boys, girls, peoples, I have all sorts of shit I gotta get done. Frig. Glad I'm kind of laid off right now. Get all this stuff done, eh? Never glad I'm laid off, boys. Girls, peoples. Well, I might put the old Kamarooski down here. Maybe run up an old decent over here. There it is. Hey, had to wait for the camera, boys. And maybe check the mail. Friggin' right, I'm gonna check the mail. How you doing, eh? How the hell you doing? What are you doing down there? Frig. But other than that, that's what I'm doing. This is just a shorty. Again, a little updateage on the old day foreskins. Nothing like a good update on the foreskins, boys. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. Until tomorrow, you know what to do for now. No girl, I